Ooh, all right. What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? Now, a long time ago, probably closer to like a year ago now, I made one of my favorite videos that I've ever made on this channel, the Craigslist Fishing Challenge. Basically, if you guys don't know what Craigslist is, it's a website where like your local community, they list stuff up for sale. Really anything you're looking for, you could probably find it. Somebody's probably selling it near you on Craigslist. Basically, the seller lists like the good or the service. The buyer then contacts the seller. You could like negotiate a price or whatever. Then they meet and it, they, it goes down. Now, I don't really go on Craigslist like ever, but I think it's going to be really cool to look again to see what kind of fishing stuff people are selling like in my local area. Last time I got a killer deal, I had like four rods and reel combos and I got a bunch of just like terminal tackle and baits and gear. Today, like over a year later since that last challenge video that we did on Craigslist, we're going to be hopping back on this website. We are going to look around, see what the local community is selling, see if we can get any steals, any deals. Hopefully we're going to find something that we like. We're going to go to the seller. We're going to pick that stuff up. Then we're going to take that stuff to the pond. It's gonna be a process, but this, hopefully people are selling good stuff, man. This should be fun. All right, guys, let's hop right into this. Let's see if anybody around Delaware is selling anything good. So as you can see, I typed in Craigslist Delaware. Let's click on this, search Craigslist. I'm gonna type in fishing. Let's see what we got here. All right, so everything you see listed here is stuff that people are locally selling. We go to this first guy, he's selling 60, three pounds of four ounce pyramid fishing sinkers. $126 for sinkers. I mean, I don't actually think that's a bad deal. 63 four ounce sinkers. Now this can be expensive in the store. I don't know, I don't feel like doing all that math. But yeah, just like stuff like this, man. You never know what you're gonna find here on Craigslist. 63 pounds of four ounce sinkers. All right, today I'm not really in the market for sinkers. What else we got here? Oh, well, right next to it, more sinkers. 40 pounds of lead, I don't, I don't know. Right next to that, somebody's selling a fishing net. Um, it's a fishing net. Uh, we got some fishing coasters. Uh, those are, uh, yeah, yeah, those are some coasters. All right, come on, someone's gonna have something good here. Um, fishing rack, uh, stainless steel rod holders. Surf fishing rod and reel, 650. Dude, what the heck kind of fishing rod and reel is this, man? I don't know what this stuff is, but it's gotta be pretty good, I would think. 650 bucks, let's, let's right next to that. Fishing rods and reels, $20. Now, one of the problems here with Craigslist is that like somebody will put $20 in the title, and does that mean $20 for each fishing rod? Does that mean $20 for everything? Yeah, see, now this person just says $20 to $300. So I don't know what kind of inventory this guy's got here. I mean, there has to be some good stuff in there if some of them will go up to freaking $300. Uh, let me keep going here. Here's like a big carrier thing. Um, fishing tackle, $100. What the heck? That's just like a bunch of stuff. Here are some, uh, here's some boats. Rod rack for surf fishing, $550. Jeez, man. All right, just from seeing the beginning of this ad, I'm already liking this. Two fishing poles and two extra reels, $10. Two used fishing poles, but in good working order. $10 for everything. Price is firm. Let's get a look at this, man. What do we have here? Um, I can't really tell. I mean, I see that's a Daiwa reel right there. So overall, four reels and two rods. You're telling me that's $10. Dollar. I don't know, dude. This one's got my eye right now. I'll put that in the back of my head. Uh, more boats, more surf racks, more rod holders, more weights. Here, here's like an ottoman fly fishing mo motif. Motif. Forty dollars. Let me see that thing, man. Who that thing's looking? Yo, cool. probably my favorite part about this little like ottoman thing. If you guys don't know what an ottoman is, I think it's sort of like a like a chair with like cushion like, on it. I don't it. really know the exact purpose of an ottoman. I just this, this description's funny, man. Unusual ottoman tells a story. Embroidered. Look a fly fisherman <laughs> we got more sinkers here um surf fishing rod a hundred dollars surf rod a hundred dollars somebody is selling a pen 310 gti conventional fishing reel somebody's selling a shimano saragossa 6000 those are apparently those are pretty good reels i've never tried a saragossa if you guys have tried them definitely let me know in the comments below i was thinking about getting one i ended up going with a pen reel instead for my surf casting setup but yeah anyway child fishing rod five dollars what the heck is this man i would love to find a tackle box that's loaded with old stuff like that one that we found at the yard sale handmade and hand painted bucktails for sale. I think the main thing on here that actually really caught my eye, where the heck was it, man? It was all that stuff for 10 bucks. Two fishing poles and two extra reels. So this comes with four fishing reels, two fishing rods. I think I'm gonna contact this guy. All right, let's open up Gmail here. Um, What should I say? We got Laura in here that's gotta be professional. Or her, I mean, whoever's selling. Hello. I said, hello, I am intrigued. Is there a time available tomorrow to come purchase. Let me just send that right on over there. All right, I mean, $10 for two rods and four reels. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat that, so I'm gonna see if this person replies. Yeah, man, then we're just gonna take it from there. All right, y'all, it is now the next day. I just checked, I don't have any emails from that listing. So I did some looking around on the actual listing, like you had to click some buttons, but I found the person's number. Hey, 
Hey, this is Sean. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Killing me, Sean. All right, I'm just gonna text this dude. Hi, saw your ad on Craigslist, fishing rods. Uh, I was wondering if I could stop by anytime today. Hopefully it surprised me. I feel like I'm being so annoying. All right, this guy is mind boggling me right now. So I'm already on my way to this guy's house. And he says he like doesn't know if he has the reels, he might have thrown them away. So I don't know what is gonna happen, man. I mean, I'm already almost there, so. All right, guys, we are here. There's some kids outside. Um, This is interesting. Good. Yeah, about the fish around. Yeah, yeah. Right. Got double check, man. Yeah. How you doing, dude? Good. Uh, cool. I mean, there you are. They're both in working order. Yeah, it's um, all good, man. Just haven't been used in a while, and I got like six others, so. <laughs> all right. All right, cool, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate man. it. Yeah, man. Take care. You too. All right, y'all. Mission success. Let's get out of here, man. That was that was really quick. Whew. All right, y'all. Well, that whole freaking process took us a while. These are the two rods that we got here. This, uh, this first one, I think it's some kind of, it's a Daiwa. I don't really know. Five foot ultralight. And there's like a little calico something real. Hurricane. I, I really don't know what this is. All right. Next thing. What is this? Little neon fish bones. Um, It looks like just some combo looks like this one's like six ish feet so i don't know man we got the price down a little bit he said he was purging so he threw some of the reels away so just an interesting experience but i think that was like five bucks for two rods not too bad Whew. all right guys here we go as you guys can see like i'm gonna show you guys this later it's really exciting this is my new vehicle this thing is going to be the ultimate fishing machine i'll show you guys at the end of the video but this is what we're going to be using here today guys this video is sponsored by carl's bait and tackle you know mystery tackle box y'all don't know what carl's is basically it's like a new online tackle store from mystery tackle box so pretty much i went on the website here they are about to do a big black friday sale there's gonna be discounts on a lot of stuff now if you guys are trying to buy some new tackle and save some money everybody needs tackle you can get access to the black friday sale on carl's all you got to do you got to go onto the website you can sign up there's a free 30-day trial to carl's club that club's going to get you an extra 10 percent off all black friday discounts i mean it's a really good value overall you're going to be saving like 30 percent on almost like everything you pay and you get free shipping over 25 dollars and exclusive member sales but yeah if you guys don't want to join the club or anything there is still a black friday sale going on on the website and basically these are a few things i got off the website to fish with i I just bought some random stuff. These guys, if you guys have seen the last video on my channel, these freaking destroyed the bass. This is actually it right here. This, I can't even explain how freaking good this thing was, man. It's Biospawn Exoswim. So we're gonna be throwing around some of these. The sun, as you guys can see, I mean, it's kind of like going down-ish. That guy took freaking forever to respond. Whew, I feel like we have so much to do today. All right, these are other stuff I got. I mean, just some shimmer shads. We got some very interesting uh, little drop shot type hooks. I have a blade bait. All right, guys, we're in a race with time. This is the pond right here. I haven't been to this pond in forever. But as you guys can see, the sun is kind of on its way downish. Again, the whole process today kind of took like freaking all day. Basically what I'm doing here, I just have the same exact exo swim. I didn't even change it from last time. Just a little swim bait, a little weighted swim bait hook. This is going to be my search bait. I have no clue where the bass are in this pond right now. The last couple times I actually fished here, it wasn't that great. I don't know. And, and it's been really cold these past couple days. So I have no clue how this bass like are going to behave. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of use this as a search bait. As I said, I'm going to see where the bass are, if there are any, and if like, you know, what, what they really want. After that, we're going to get the actual challenge started we're gonna use stuff from craigslist dude it's freaking cold out here man i'm not even gonna lie i mean the sun i can't even imagine how it's gonna feel when the sun goes down i mean come to think about it it is getting pretty close to winter it doesn't even feel like that though man this year flew by so i've been throwing this around a little bit so far nothing shallow so i'm gonna try to go a little bit deeper here i mean this is really the toughest part just finding out where these fish actually are and what they want all right guys this is what we got going on right now got a little drop shot with one of those twitch tails a little drop shot wait i'm just gonna pitch this around this dock right here. Wouldn't be surprised if a crappy came and bit this too. I mean, I would hope something would bite this. I don't know, man. I do know that this place does get pretty highly pressured, so we'll see if we can get anything out of here. We'll pick this thing back up tomorrow. All right, y'all, it is now the next day. I came back to this pond that was in the previous video. If you guys saw that video, man, this pond was so fire. So hopefully we can get some fish here. All right, so we're gonna be throwing this little swim bait here first. And uh, yeah, we got this little Craigslist rod and reel setup. Interesting thing, I don't know what pound braid this guy has on his uh, setup here. It's, I don't know, it's interesting. All right, well, it looks like it's a complete freaking 180 since the last time I was here. This water is so clear. I mean, it's been a lot colder. It's even cold out today. These fish are just not uh, where I was catching them the other day. They're not around this dock. They're not around the other place I was catching them. Not really sure where they are, to be honest. I mean, I definitely see a lot of bluegill. This is weird, man. Oh my gosh, there we go, in the pipe. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh, this fish took so long to catch, man. Oh, let's get him up here. Woo! All right, beautiful fish on the jig. This is actually a really nice fish. 
Oh gosh. Right, chill, buddy. Dude, my freaking hands are freezing. Oh, here we go, guys. This freaking jig, man, saved the whole operation. This jig saved the day. Dude, this is really in his mouth right there. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh. All right, man. That is actually really, really pretty fish. Dude, all the fish that I've caught in this pond so far have been so healthy looking. If you guys, dude, if you guys haven't seen my last video, definitely go check that out. Bass fishing here was on fire. It was a couple days ago, but it was a lot a lot warmer but yeah man there we go dude i threw just about everything i had in this pond i mean it's a lot colder than it was the water is a lot more still yeah man let's let this guy go he was chilling it was so crazy i'll tell you there you it go it's so crazy guys he was in this pipe right here i was throwing something else then i saw him kind of come out and go back in the pipe so i brought the jig out i kind of jigged it around that pipe i didn't even see him come out he must have shot out like a freaking rocket and then i just saw my line moving and i just freaking said it man Whew. All right. I'm loving this jig, man. That honestly, I mean, that came at a perfect time. I'm pretty much out of time to fish here today. I've been here for a while. But yeah, I mean, from this whole Craigslist thing, I really like this rod. This reel is kind of mad. And the other rod and reel setup, I mean, it just, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much going to do it here for this video today. As I said, that's all the time I really have here. These are the two setups. I mean, I, I use both of them. This one is kind of unusable. This uh, neon fish bones. I, I don't know. But I mean, I think I made out pretty well. I think this Daiwa rod is, I mean, at least worth five bucks alone. I'll have to do some more research to see what actual like Daiwa rod this is. But yeah, man, this video definitely took a long time to make. If you guys did enjoy it, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot. Let me know in the comments below also if you guys would like to see more videos like this. And I mean, the fishing today and yesterday, I mean, I barely got any time to fish yesterday, but the fishing today was not, I mean, you know, I mean, it's fishing and also it is getting a lot colder here. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's definitely starting to feel more wintry out here. All right, now really quickly, let me bring you over here. So I've been very fortunate enough to have recently purchased a new vehicle. It's really gonna help me out with this channel. I'm gonna turn this thing into the ultimate fishing machine. There she is behind me right there, man. I freaking love this thing. This is a 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road. I'm gonna be going a lot more in depth next video about like this whole car yeah I mean, it's just crazy to me that i own this going from a 2004 chevy impala that was like on its last leg to this freaking beast i just have to thank each and every one of you guys for the support man this did take me a while to get but man this, this is really going to help out the videos i even have roof racks on top to carry my kayaks carry extra luggage. Now, a lot of you guys might be asking like, why the heck did you buy that? I thought you are getting a WRX, thought you are getting a truck or whatever. I'm gonna go over all that in the next video. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this freaking tank. Yeah, man, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that right now. I think I'm gonna end this video right off here, but dude, just like coming out of my house every day or my apartment or whatever, just coming out to look at this thing right here, man. This thing, whew, I'm freaking love with this thing, man. Yeah, the, the little peek at the inside, that's all you get right now. All right, now, as I said, if you guys did enjoy this video, you guys wanna see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy my videos, but for some reason you are not subscribed, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you never wanna miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. As I said, that's pretty much all the time I have here. This video took so long to make. Thank you so much again for all your support. It really does mean the world to me. Let's keep this going, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.